Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. And thank you again so much for our time together. Let's go over to Revelation chapter 2, beginning with verse 1 today. To the angel of the church of Pergamum write, These are the words of him who has the sharp double-edged sword. I know where you live, where Satan has his throne. Yet you have remained true to my name. You did not renounce your faith in me, even in the days of Antipas, my faithful witness, who was put to death in your city, where Satan lives. Now, we've studied a lot about this in the Saturday and Sunday services. A revival so incredibly powerful and so world-changing was happening that wherever Satan had been living before, he's never been to hell, wherever he has been living before, he moves his dwelling place and his throne of world rulership for all of his demonic darkness, he moved it to the city of Pergamum. In fact, the, um, the altar of Zeus there is called the throne of Satan. You can see it today. Archaeologists discovered it, moved it in around, oh, 38, 39, uh, 1938, 1939. Hitler moved it to the city of Berlin and put it in the Pergamum Museum. It's, that is the throne of Satan. Hitler was looking for demonic power. He, he went and took the throne of Satan and moved it to the city of Berlin. Fascinating study. But I want you just to notice this truth, that the spiritual environment did not affect their faithfulness. These people had made a decision to serve God, and no matter how dark the darkness was around them, they were the lights in that darkness. Now, you, you and I need to come to grasp with the picture that that presents to us. You and I, light is never destroyed by darkness. Darkness is destroyed by light. And these people were faithful. These people continued to shine like lights in the darkness in the middle of Satan's kingdom. It must have just driven him crazy. But when you put out a candle, the darkness doesn't destroy the candle, doesn't destroy the light. No matter how small the light is, the light destroys the darkness. Spiritual environment is not going to destroy you. The spiritual environment, no matter how bad it gets around you, is not going to destroy you. You can be faithful. Now, I challenge you with that today because sometimes we, we use our environment as a, an excuse for our sinful lifestyle. Well, everybody around me is drinking. Well, everybody around me is messing around with women and womanizing. Well, da, da, da. We, we use our cultural environment as an excuse for our lack of faithfulness to God. These people did not. You and I can live a holy life. We can shine like stars in the darkness if we will just choose to be faithful.